it's Anya here at All Gabled Home where I like to share tips for a simple, beautiful, healthy, and sustainable living. And in today's video, I want to talk about how you can make your home a little bit more cozy in the winter season. So when I grew up in Germany, um, in the winter it's often cold and dark, sometimes it's just gray and rainy, sometimes you get lucky and it's snowy. So people spend a little bit more time indoors and they have really figured out how to make it all cozy on the inside. You may have heard the term Hygge, which is the Danish concept of coziness, comfortable, um, warm, inviting space inside. And it's essentially the same as the German Gemütlichkeit, or the adjective is Gemütlich. So I'll be sharing some simple tips how you can bring that into your own home this winter. Nothing says coming home like having a fire in your fireplace. The sound of the crackling fire, um, the warmth from the fireplace, and just that golden glow is so comfortable and so cozy. People have gathered around fires for cooking, for warmth, for sharing meals, and that's the ultimate cozy. If you don't have a fireplace, candles are amazing. You can have candles right in the center of the room on your coffee table. You can have the candles on the perimeter in the windowsill on the side table. And there is something really flattering about the warm light of a candle. Anybody looks great in candlelight and candles are just the ultimate cozy. Ideally, you want candles from beeswax or soy wax and I have a tutorial that I'll be linking how you can really easily make your own candles. And in your living room you can always add some throws or blankets. We love these wool blankets. They add so much coziness you can just snuggle up right underneath them with another family member, with your spouse, with your partner, anybody, just by yourself and add all warm when it's cool outside. Mm -hmm. And just the texture and the look of a real wool blanket makes your home look so much more cozy. There's a lot of really good reasons why not to wear shoes in the home. And so instead we choose to wear wool slippers. And I love wearing wool socks. We live in an old home and even though we have a really good heating system, there tends to be a cold that comes from underneath and so it tends to be what we call foot cold and wool socks will keep your feet warm that also makes you warmer on the whole and socks and slippers just create that extra layer of coziness making your own food at home so when you have something roasting in the oven or when you have something baking in the oven you have those scents wafting throughout the house and even though you may not have time during the week to cook meals, you can always get creative in the kitchen on the weekends and get something going. Home cooked meals are so easy. It doesn't have to be a big production. You just throw a few things together and bake them, roast them, cook them on the stove top and share the meal with your friends, your family. Another idea how to get all cozy this winter is to have friends over. Now, don't get me wrong, we love entertaining, but oftentimes when we entertain, there is a flurry of activity. We clean up, we declutter our home a little bit, make it a little bit more presentable. But having friends over without having an Instagram-worthy home is just so comfortable. It's casual, it's inviting, and they might like to cook with you. They share the meal with you, you can um, spend the whole evening just hanging out and that's the sense of community that really is at the heart of this coziness of Hygge, of Gemütlichkeit. Now with your friends or with your family you can play a board game. Oftentimes our activities are centered around some sort of screen but actually getting together around the table and playing a card game, a board game or any type of game 
just has, again, brings your community together, brings you together, and um, it's just so fun and cozy to do that with some other people. Another way to get cozy is to read a good book. And I just love to get uh, absorbed into a really good story. There are so many good books out there. You can either order one online, go to a bookstore and let them help you find a good book, a good story, or check out your local library and see what they have. Simply enjoying a cup of tea as I am doing here. Don't get me wrong, I love coffee, but coffee is a little bit more stimulating and there's something very warming and comforting and quieting about a cup of tea. You might also like a cup of hot chocolate and brewing that for yourself or for anybody else who's there with you and enjoying that cup of tea is again another layer of coziness of comfort. You might like to bring in some flowers or greenery from the outside. There's something about bringing the outside in and having a seasonal decoration. So in the spring we often have brighter lighter colors and just thinking about the winter season when you bring in some greenery, some pine twigs, um, maybe you have a little Christmas tree or like an evergreen tree that you can put on a side table. So bringing in something from the outside to the inside that you can decorate with a little bit. You might also like to do some crafts. How about some knitting or crocheting, some needle craft, if you don't know how to do it, there's so many good tutorials online. There's so many good books where you can pick that up and you don't need to create any big projects. You can just knit a scarf and that is very simple to do. That is so cozy, so comfortable, so big up. You can do a puzzle. Puzzles are really easy because you can either just have one that you can finish in one night. You can do a puzzle that you have set up on a um, dedicated table somewhere that can sit out for days and you can do it by yourself. You can invite other people to join in and do a puzzle. That is also something that invites a little bit more coziness and inside activities into your home. We also like to play music. Now there's two ways you can play music. One is just to listen to some music from the radio or your favorite CD or wherever you play some music or you actively play an instrument but either way having some music in the background or getting together with family and friends and making music is super cozy and adds to gemütlichkeit and hygge into your home. On the weekend we like to sleep in. Now if you have little kids that might look a little bit different you can still invite them into your bed and um, cuddle until they get so antsy that they just want to get outside. Um, but you can also just linger and let the weekend mornings start a little bit slower. And what I really love is that my husband brings me coffee in bed on Sunday mornings. That is something that I look for the entire week and that is such a special ritual in our home. You can also diffuse some essential oils. Now, I remember when my kids were younger, on every Friday morning, we would have a apple crisp for breakfast. And what I would do is the night before, I would make the recipe and make the apple crisp, set it in the oven, put it on a timer. And when we woke up in the morning, there was that scent of apples and cinnamon going through the entire house. You can buy some blends that will smell just like apple and cinnamon. You can diffuse any other essential oils in your home and just smelling something that's nice and warm and comforting. You can have some calming or clarifying blends. There's so many different essential oils out there that I'm sure you can pick from your favorite blend or you're from your favorite individual essential oil. If you have a pet, you might like to cuddle with your pet. People have their dogs on the couch or cats typically pick their own places and often just snuggle up with their owners. That is so comforting to have somebody next to you and getting all cuddly with your pet. I hope that you found this helpful, that you got some tips on how to make your home a little bit more cozy and comfortable, a little bit more eager, a little bit more gemütlich. 
this winter season. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you're new here, please subscribe to my channel. I upload new content every week. You can also go to my blog at OurGableFilm.com where I have more tips and recipes. I look forward to your sale next time. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you.